Yeah, go ahead. Can I say the first word this time? Go ahead. Okay, what do you say again? You want to do my intro? Yeah. Welcome back to Pick Jimmy. Uh, that guy over there is DJ. There we go. And I'm DC. If you want to join the Bushel of Bad Apples, hit the subscribe button down below to join this fabulously flawed family. We have DC back again because we have family-friendly content, which is an unboxing from okay. Peter over at the Cigar Collective, who said he wanted to send me a box or some cigars, and then he sent me a picture, and uh, it's a lot. You know how I caught Matt, Matt Stoney? Yeah. Are you talking about Peter Quill? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not you talking about comic book character Peter Quill. Not I'm book. Pete, well, that's the name of the character from Guardians of the Galaxy, not the, um, not oh. the actor. So thank you, Peter, from the Cigar Collective. I'm going to link down to his Instagram below. I don't know if he wants me to do that, but I can delete it if he doesn't want me to. Oh. Thanks, Peter, for, for reaching out and for wanting to send in cigars. Um, I didn't expect it to be this big. He sent me a teaser picture, and it was a lot, and it's uh, even, even it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of cigars. Oh. So we'll go through these now. There's a um, bubble wrap in here. She's going to be around for part of this video because there's there's a lot to go through. Oh, and speaking of Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. You got to see the, free, the third one. Yes, we need to see the third one. I love it. You chose to see Elemental instead. Well, wait, what? We I thought we were going to see both. Yeah, but we could have saw Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and instead we saw Elemental. Can we still go there? I mean, eventually, yeah. All right, so first and foremost, we got many bags. Oh, oh my pocket. gosh. <laughs> we got a lot to go through. Um, <laughs> and I'm, gonna I'm go only through gonna be. Fast, but this is, she'll do like one whole bag. How about this is mixed sticks. Oh, if I can blast without getting cuckoo, I want to do a one and a half. Okay. <laughs> this is Liga Pravada Drew Estate. Huh? Liga Pravada? Yeah, Liga Pravada. It's a type of line of cigar. Um, oh, trying to pop it. We got, oh my gosh, Foundation. Foundation. Thank you for labeling these, Pete. This is uh, pretty cool. Oh, man. pop it. Uh, Crown Heads, the Crown Heads. Wait, what? They're just brands of cigars. Yeah, I'm like, I thought you were supposed to wear a crown on your head. Yeah, well, yeah. well if, if you are a crowned head, what are you? A crowned head? If you are someone who has a crowned head, What's a crown what head? are you? If, if someone were to put a crown on top of your head, what typically would you be? I guess a crowned head? A king. Oh. Queen. They are the crowned heads. They are the kings. It was a, way, it was a clever way to say king. Um, we got some Dunbarton tobacco and trust. And I probably won't go through all of this. We'll go through at least one bag with her, and then I'll, I'll, I'll point out some some that I'm looking forward to review. How about that? Just so you guys can see what's coming. And then some more Dunbarton tobacco, but more importantly, we got some Stillwells. <gasps> we love Stillwells. Thank you, Pete. Um, I think, oh, there's one more. We got Placencia. Too many cigars. Him, he already has like a, he has free, oh, uh, what's that word? Humidors. He has free humidors. Okay, one of them small. But he still has free. I have. Keep sending him cigars, boy. He just has. Four free. electronic humidors. Wait, what, four? I have four, I'm only using three of, I'm only using two of them. Um. This is Placencia. Wait, why is there so many red? I don't know. They like red, I suppose. Or Pete sent me, he sent me multiple. Goodness oh, yeah, that gracious. One like yeah, that one's the year of the rabbit. No, year of the, anyway, we'll go through. You wanna go through the Placencia? Oh, we'll go through the Placencia. Oh, our pits are so sweaty. Well, did you put on deodorant today? Uh, I will after this video. <laughs> Cool, 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 cool. So that's that. So we'll go ahead and go through Placencia. Um, make sure you stay up front so you fix this. You, you, you're, the focus box is like right here. So you got to come forward. Come forward. No, not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's try out that one. Am 
My dream came true. What's like that? Like half a year ago, maybe a year. I this always wanted to be on TV. I'm on YouTube though, or whatever you're filming this. YouTube Rumble. Rumble? Yeah, Rumble like is like- Like a movie? <laughs> no, not like the movie. Rumble is like sad, pathetic YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So starting out, we got a Placencia. It's a good start, though. Corsetcha right here. Okay. Room 49 in my. I think this is. Yeah, good. They believe that was the um, the size that I smoked last year. I don't remember what I put it on the list, but it was one of the top cigars I smoked last year. Honduran Puro, I believe. Absolutely fantastic. There's numbers on it. 149. Yeah, 149. That's the lot. 149. I believe that's the lot number, if I'm remembering correctly. A lot I don't number. Remember. Yeah, like lot. where, the, where the, the field of tobacco is. Uh, this is a Placencia Cosecha 146. I haven't smoked this one yet, or even seen it, I don't think. And uh, is it rabbit the one that falls apart if you sneeze on it? To focus on. There you go. All right, so we got You're the Rabbit. I'll check it from you, and I'll trade you. And that is another the, rabbit. Uh, no, that's not. That's Alma Fuerte. What? No, and Fuego. Alma Fuego. Are you talking Alma about Alma Fuego? from Sesame Street? <laughs> Alma del Fuego. El del. Alma del Fuego. Oh. We got uh, Estefan. Estefan. What? Why do they all say special tea? edition quarter 2022 Estefan? Placencia is the brand. The P is the brand, and then the name is below. There's so many Palencia. That's, this whole bag is Placencia. <gasps> oh, yeah, it's just right there. Palencia. Good job, Vanna White. Wait, what? Do your job. I heard you call me. Vanna White. Oh, this is Year of the Tiger. One of these Matt really liked. I think it was the Tiger. I can't remember. Uh, Matt. That one Matt's his only friend, besides the other people. Can't remember the name. Besides my other friends? <laughs> You mention him a lot. He said, the friend I never grew up with. Mm -hmm. This one's the Year of the Ox. So are all the Year of's a red band? Hold that up. I don't know. I don't know a ton Say about the... Say the answer down below in the comments. Alma del Campo. I like this cigar, I believe. Ooh, this one has a lot of peas on it. <laughs> Alma del Campo. Oh, my peas. <laughs> go. Page again. This is a Del Fuego, but this it's in, a uh, I believe, Lancero. Yeah. This is skinny, is but Is that a nah. box press Lancero? Is that a thing? Or is there a different name for it? Y'all know I'm super versed in all the technical knowledge of cigars. Hold on, I didn't read it yet. Okay. These things, man. <gasps> I sat on my book. <laughs> the good thing is, Peter, we have really high humidity in Texas, so like this... This will plump right back up. <laughs> Jeez, man. USPS. This is... Where you going? <laughs> you, being, uh, you, la you watched a boring movie last night. I watched Avatar Way of the Water. Placencia Ama Fuerte. That's the, bro the, the box water. press version. Avatar These are all Ama Fuertes, I believe. Well, I think Avatar is You love Ama Fuerte. Some That's weird, a Parejo or a soft box press? Naked alien. So they weren't like naked. They had loincloths. And this is an uh, Alma Fuerte in the... I can't remember what it's called. Wait, what? Can it, oh, we can focus on two. It's Pokey, though. Pokey? Can I poke yeah. it? Poke, poke, so this poke. is Placencia. So thank you very much, Pete. Uh, we all like Placencia on Pete the channel. Pete's gone through a lot. Uh, appreciate it, man. This is a lot of cigars. And not a, not, a lot of not a cheap cigars, too. Like, be very careful with, with the... the I think it's the rabbit. So is this how you, it works out? People watch your videos and like you and that, except for his enemy. <laughs> I have an enemy? Yeah, the guy that said it's stupid for a kid to be in your videos. Because oh. the kid's going to smoke a cigar someday, was what he said. Um, I don't know who that was. That was just some random guy. I feel like he I has don't a have any beard. enemies. <laughs> I have no enemies. Uh, people might not like me, but that's okay because I don't even think about them. At the end of the day, it's just it's just me and the new wave versus the world. I wanted to show you a little bit of my drawings. So this one is I tried draw 
writing the word elegant didn't really work out. I don't think it's right. Oh, I like to draw pictures and then write things. This one's supposed to be your beautiful mermaid. Oh, it did the splits on me. The splits? Yeah, when I was holding it, it just went like this. And then this one is a unicorn. I need to write it, this maybe in Sharpie. I colored it purple and now it doesn't show. It's a, it says be yourself. I read, read it very closely. You're smelting a cigar. Oh, look, it's like no one. Yeah, it's fire. I mean, the cigar's not fire, but it's fire. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me see where I'm at, because there's some embarrassing things in here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you're wondering what this is, it's a very short guy proposing. How many do you, did you say I could do? Two more. After this one? Sure. I need to write it. I'm going to do your male amazing. It's a cat. Is that one embarrassing? Uh, I drew a lion. <laughs> <laughs> I see it now that you say it. I drew a lion. It's a, oh, <laughs> a bunny. And then I'm gonna try to get to the one I wanted to show you. Oh, no, not the dragonfly. And then this one's a cat. If you look really closely at the mouth, could you zoom in this part? Mm -hmm. And it's map. Right there's a fish. And then up here, she's saying, the girl's saying, I drew her a little too tall for how old I made her. She's supposed to be a five-year-old. And that's a dad. Uh, she, it's, it's, it's not, you can't really tell, but the girl's saying, can I walk it? And then please, and then the dad's saying, fine, but I'm coming. Let's open up the Stillwells because this is a small bag. And then she can get out of here because it's hot in this garage. And I still have a whole nother cigar to finish smoking. Dad, do you know what my school's called? We're not going to say it on camera. Oh. All right, we got some Stillwells. Uh, I believe Dunbarton has discontinued one of the lines of this cigar. So here is the Bayou. Bayou. We got the <gasps> Old English. This is a star on it. Yeah, it's just one of each. Bah, the Navy bah, 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 and the bah, bah, Aromatic bah, bah. 101. I think in, in the ones I like the most, I think it goes... That's the same one. No, they're different. Aromatic's the best, then Bayou, then English, and then Navy is like... Mm, Navy's all right. But compared to the other ones, it's not even close. And then what I'm really excited about, because I saw this in the picture, when 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 Peter sent me the, the teaser photo he sent me, I was like zooming in so I could see if I could peep any cigars. And this one right here. Right there. That is the holiday. I like this one the best. Which I really wanted to get and I couldn't because they're Dunbarton and as soon as they come out they're gone. Uh the holiday 2022. Oh, man. is that it? That's all the cigars? Super cool. In this little bag, yeah. Oh, bye! It was getting hot, and I had to point the fan towards the camera, so DC went inside for a little bit. I'm going to continue opening up these packs from Peter. Uh, thank you very much, sir, again, just for, for sending these out. I really appreciate it, man. Um, it's always unexpected. I, 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 Mike, Michael always says it best, so we repeat what Michael says. These are always appreciated. Um, never expected, always appreciated when we get gifts from anyone inside of, of, of YouTube, any type of, any, any, anyone really. Uh, whether you have a channel, whether you have a platform, or you're a manufacturer, or anything like that, any type of, of a gift that shows up in the P.O. Box will always be appreciated, and I thank you all greatly for it. Um, from everyone going all the way back to Johnny, who sent me my very first box, uh, to Peter, who has sent me my latest box. The generosity that I have received from YouTube is is insane. Not even from YouTube. The generosity I have received 
from the bushel because of YouTube has been insane and I, I am greatly appreciative for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep going through these bags because typically people like to see what's in them. So I'm gonna open up all of them. DC is gonna probably pop back in at the end and then I'll just build chapters in the video if I don't forget. Hopefully I don't forget. Uh, but yeah, I'm just sitting in this garage. I mean, this is it's Saturday. We're hanging out. I'm gonna do this. Then I'm gonna go play Rayman with the little girl inside. Um, if y'all don't like her in the videos, suck a nut. I don't care. Um, it's my channel. It's my house. She's gonna be on. Don't watch them. If you don't like my kids in my videos, fuck off. When you see them, fuck right off. Scroll on by. I don't care. This is Pick Jimmy's house. Now yours. Anyway, moving on. Um, let's go with mixed. Now let's finish up Dunbarton. Finish up Dunbarton, and then we'll go through the rest. Also, I'm super excited about those Stillwells. I love smoking those cigars. Um, and the holiday one, oh man, as soon as it's not, you know, ass hot, that's gonna be, that's gonna be my first reviews. As soon as the weather starts to cool down, that's, I'm going to that cigar, man. Right now, my like aromatics and flavors and infused cigar box is completely full of um, the mini Bosphorus and all of my uh, 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 shit, spring rolls. So I gotta figure out where I'm gonna store these, but I'll figure that out. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna store all of these, but that's, that's, that's not your problem, that's mine. Open it up, uh, wow. We got a lot of Dunbarton. We're going Dunbarton, continue on with Dunbarton. And we got one, two, three, Pete. Pete. These are not cheap. None of these are cheap, my friend. Holy sh! Oh my God, is that a paladin? That's a paladin. All right, get all those out. Oh my, there's more. There's more. Is that them? Okay. I am flush with sin compromisos. Um, I got one on, I think, every size. Except the two. Is the two in here? The two's the troublemaker. I think that's the one that even Keelan didn't like. I got a Paladin de Saka, which is awesome. I smoked one on a live stream. I still need to review one. Super dope cigar. Um, it's like... Um, it's a better version, a much better version of the Pappy, in my opinion. Uh, you don't get that charred, smoky sense on the on the on the cigar itself, but you still get some of that charred smokiness on the actual cigar, which is great. Um, and it's not as saturated. And then yeah, we got uh, one, two, three, four Dunbartons. This one, this one specifically in Torpedo, that's the one I picked up in the shop when I was first looking at cigars and wanted to try it. This one right here. So maybe, maybe when we revisit the line, we'll revisit this one. Because I am going to revisit Sin Compromiso. If you guys don't know, I smoked it once before on a review. And that kind of made me blow up a little bit among um, the Sokka fans. Because they did not like how much I shit on the cigar. Did not like it. I have had it since then. And I enjoy the cigar. I'm still not like... There's people who love that cigar. And I'm waiting to find which size that I try that I'm like, I get it. Uh, because I've had it, I really do enjoy them. They're just not like, like dude. And it's it's that way with all cigars. You find that with any brand. There's people who will like murder your first puppy um, if you say you don't like a cigar that they love. But I'm looking forward to. It. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to exploring the the vitolas of this cigar. So thank you, Pete. Uh, There's a lot of sin compromiso, my friend. Goodness. I see this right here. This beauty right here. Beauty right here. Is Sobramisa. Now, that's a brulee, yeah? Because it's a Connecticut. Because the regular. Oh, shit. We got a blue. Sobramisa blue. I have not had the brulee brew. I have not had the blue. I have not had the brulee blue. So we'll see. Um, super excited, though. I. I I really like Dunbarton cigars. I'm not a big of a fan as Keelan is, 
But um, I like his stuff. I really like the Bewitched. The Bewitched is fantastic. We got a Mikarita Black, right? Mikarita, right? Yeah, Mikarita Black. I don't know why I, I questioned real quick. Uh, awesome, awesome, big, hearty cigar. I don't know what these are. Toro Las Diez, okay? So, Toro Las Diez, Toro Las Diez. Not a Toro Las Diez. You look like a Toro Las Diez, but you're a different color. Forgive my ignorance. We got two, three Toro Las Diez. One is not silver. Very exciting. I need to look into these cigars. Because I know Dunbarton's crazy big. Um... I just, I don't, there's so many. There's so, like, I mean, you can't see. There's a lot to know. You stay down. Get in my shot. Toro Las Diez. I'm pretty sure the guys like this. I love this size cigar. Just like the cosecha, the like, the bullet. All right, we got a uh, Micarita. I don't know. I'm gonna call it a Micarita Red. I'm sure y'all will correct me. A Mikarita not as black? As black? It's a Mikarita not as black? Pal... Palpeta? 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 Palpita? Peta, peta, peta. Pal... Peta. Am I wrong? Tell me if I'm wrong. Papeta. I don't know. Almost looks like a spoon. No, golf tee. Is this a golf tee? I don't know. Um, pigtail cap. And this is a uh, Don 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 Daruma. Don Don Daruma. Don Daruma. Is that this one? People are gonna be mad at me. That's okay. It's funny people who get mad at the pronunciation of cigars or if someone doesn't know a type of cigar. You never heard of that? Well, let me ask you this, sir. Have you gone into a candy shop and known every single fucking candy bar in there? Bet you haven't. Dick. Thank you, Pete. I'm really excited to try all these. Some people's generosity, man. Some people's generosity knows you're making hound dog look like a bitch. <laughs> All right, I have an Espinosa I'm smoking to review right now. It's, it's the knuckle sandwich. It is out, out. All right, we'll go with the mixed next. I started smoking it and it was okay. And then it went out and I relit it and it tastes like absolute ass. I'm not gonna lie. Ugh, ass. So yeah, so I'm smoking this cigar and I'm doing a review of it and I lit it up. I'm like, hey, it's not it's not so bad. It's really not so bad, right? And then it went out, and as you know, once cigars go out, they they definitely never taste as nice, which sucks, but um it still has the same flavors, they just don't I don't know. It's not blowing me away. It wasn't blowing me away before. It was like fine. Like good, but fine. And now it's really not blowing away. All right. This thing is gorgeous. I mean, that's all banned, obviously. Look at that. Oh my gosh. A gate. I don't even want to know. Freud? There's a cigar called the Freud Agape? Are you serious? <laughs> They're not even trying. Not even trying to hide it. All right, whatever. We got a Sancho Panza in Safuente. Sancho Panza in Safuente. Sancho Panza extra Fuente. Um, people have asked me to smoke Sancho Panza on the chance. Sancho Panza. Hey! Espinosa. TAA 2023 exclusive. It's the Batmobile. All right, I've never smoked the Batmobile before. Is it good? We'll find out, I guess. Um, this, that's interesting. Whoa. Hmm. 
you just gonna you just gonna put a Davidoff you're the rabbit inside the the mixed sticks bag like it's like uh, plain Jane here good lord sir my phone's going off my thumb is burnt okay a lot of lot of a lot of tagging me. All right, we got a Padron 50th year, 1964 Maduro. Solid smoke overall. I know Keelan's not a huge fan. We got a timeless 10 year limited end edition. Very cool. I have one of these rolling around in the humidor. Now I get to smoke a dub. Oh, I don't think I have that though. Is there two versions of this? Because I don't know if mine says exclusively for. Freo I don't know. Man, where are the texting? The texting's gotta stop. Silence your phones. Unprofessional. We got a Padron. Big ass Padron. 1964 natural box press big dick right here. Well, long dick. Trying to kill me on a live. We got a Tatawaher Limited. Something or other. I don't know. I don't, I don't know Tatuaje at all. I really don't. And their cigars are just like, yeah, it's a Tatuaje. Figure it out, bitch. Um, that's how Tatuaje brands their shit. Ooh, I got a Drac. Dope. That's a Drac. I know that's a Drac because Michael sent me a Drac. Now I got two Dracs. We can do a Halloween live and a Halloween review. Unless this is not a drac, and then you guys are gonna tell me I'm stupid, but I'm 99% sure that's a drac. We got a Parejo of the Supreme Leaf. I think this is the one that Hound Dog said to wait on, so that should be good by now. We have a fucking bull. Like the regular bull, right? This is the weird ass, chunky ass, big ass bitch. Right? Am I wrong? This is the regular bull. Not the John Swartz. Peter, you're gonna make me have to do some good in this world. Solis. 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 LFD. Solis. All right. Uh, I don't know this one. Elogione Allegra. Looks like this this one got a little marred in shipping. I'm not gonna lie, your box got beat up just a little bit by USPS, but so far the cigars are looking okay. I didn't want to tell you through Instagram, it make me sad. All right, got another timeless, but this one's in I guess Lancero. Is there? What's the size that um, John likes? That's a little bigger than Lancero. We got another Lenox. Michael sent me a Lenox. Cool, I got two Lenoxes now. That is a dark cigar, man. Views, man. Pete's trying to give me some views. He's like, hey, Michael's catching up. Keelan's catching up. Hound Dog pulled way the fuck away. Smoke some nicer shit. Ooh. Timeless TAA 2023 exclusive. See this, this, this? is what I wanted um, McQuifa to do. This, I wanted McQuifa to do this, tone on tone, except they did gloss. They did gloss and beveled. That's a band right there. And call it the pitch, the McAuliffe pitch black. That's what I wanted. That's the look I wanted. And then we got uh, Rose of Sharon. And I think that's the version that I really like. And it's a box press, which I've never had before. Is the other one... <laughs> is the other one called the Desert Rose? There's Rose and Rose of Sharon. There's Desert Rose and Rose of Sharon. And one of them is sweeter. And I think that's this one. And I think that's the one I really like. So, mixed sticks coming in hot. Coming in hot. I'm going to rethink my whole humidor strategy. Because I got... Oh my gosh. Good God, hey, uh, what's your face? I won't save it for five years. <laughs> Pete, I need to know how old this is. Did you send me a list? Oh, I didn't, 
I didn't miss a letter or anything. I just wanted to make sure. I, I hate it when someone sends me something and they take time to like, not write up a guide necessarily, but write anything down and I don't even read it. I feel like a kid, <laughs> you open up the birthday card and the money falls out and you're just like, yes, I'm still reading. I didn't see that fall. I didn't see that fall at all. I'm not gonna, how fast can I grab the money? Thank you, Pete, man. You, you, on, you, again, I, 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 you didn't have to say anything. If you would have sent just this, that would have been so much. All right. I'll save foundation for DC, because that's a small bag. We'll go to uh, the crowned heads. I really like crowned heads. A lot of people have sent me crowned heads, and I just haven't smoked them. You want to know why? I only get to smoke like a couple so I ripped that bag. I only get to smoke a couple cigars a week. I don't have a time, right? And typically it's in a review. And I'm like, these specifically, I know people love these. And for some reason, I just have as well. These have been in my dry box for lives almost every single live. And I just don't pick it up. Cause I'm like, well, what if I, what if I need to do a review on that? So thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, the Las Calaveras, very popular cigar, very beloved cigar. You sent me a lapisser. You sent me a lapisser. Pretty good little stick. Pretty good little stick. I like it. I, the, uh, the, the La Creme is way better. Right here. Way better, in my opinion. Uh, but a good little cigar. What's this? La M. Pariso? Emperiso? La Emperiso? Am I said Emperor? Emperiso? Yeah, I imagine. I imagine. I imagine. I'm tracking. I'm tracking. Here's a big ass, long ass Lancero. Four kicks, 2022. Goodness gracious. You could like lead a march. I'm not going to do that, but you could lead a marching band. You could lead a marching band with that. Love this one right here. It's just a Mil Diaz, man. You can't go wrong with a Mil Diaz, man. Oh, I have not seen the purple. Is this just the original? La Calaveras, it does not have, uh, am I saying that? Yeah, Calaveras, it doesn't have any type of years. I like the original. Am I wrong? Am I stupid? Am I ignorant? Probably. All right, The Lost Angel. Can't read it because it's black. Maybe that's one bad thing about doing black. I, I like the idea of black on black, I really do. It needs a color to pop it out, make it stand out, or just white. Do a white and do like fake um, negative space. <sighs> okay, cigar people who know more than me, has there ever been a brand that has used negative space to brand the cigar? Meaning the band itself is cut out. So the name is red, like punched out. So you see the name through with the color. Cause you could do that with a light band on a dark cigar or a dark band on a light cigar, that would be sick. Uh, this is another Lost Angel. This is the 2022 TA exclusive. Whoa. Blood medicine. What? I'm telling you right now, Pete is changing all my reviews with one unboxing. Everything's out the door. I don't even know. I got to rethink my entire strategy for the rest of the year because some of these I cannot smoke. They're so weird. Lumen, Luminoso? Luminosa? Is this Harry Potter cigar? We got a Harry Potter? I've seen this thing before. We're gonna call it the Polka Dot Man from Suicide Squad 2. We got a boss. Bosphorus. I still have not smoked regular size Bosphorus. I feel almost bad about it. I got two now. I smoked the minis. The minis are nice. They're peppery as hell, though. The minis. And this is the Las Calaveras Nicaragua. 2019. Or it's made in Nicaragua. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is so very much. So, so very much. Let me get DC... Two more bags. Two more bags. This is... I think John called his boxing nuclear. That's the shit. DEFCON 1, baby. Right here. DEFCON 1. Because there's DEFCON 5 bad. DEFCON 5 is too much. 
Right? I don't know. Kanye! <laughs> we got... I've only smoked one Liga in my entire life. I mentioned it on camera once, and Matt sent me another Liga. And I think Pete just sent me the rest. This is a Liga Provada Dirty Rat. Matt sent me a rat too, but it has gold foil on it. Dirty Rat. Ratzilla. I think that's the one Matt sent me, but it has gold on it. Could be wrong. UF13. UF13. T52. Big bitch. I'm getting hot in this garage. I, like I said, I point my fan to the camera and I am sweating my balls off. I'm going to hop in my kiddie pool in a second. This is the Nimor 9. Nueve. Let me puff on this ass cigar real quick. Smoking like frosted tips and pierced nips mediocrity looking at all this shit. Velvet rat. Velvet rat. Fun fact about rats in Texas. If you live in Texas, chances are you have at least one rat in your attic. Fun fact, sleeping with that. This is the feral. Oh, she dick. All right, uh, we'll go to you next. Uh, good. I don't think I've smoked this one. This is the Underground Shade Maduro. I don't think I've had this. And you sent it to me in the largest cigar size possible. <laughs> Holy fuck. How long is that? Not, not how you, I was talking about smoke time. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down. You calm down. And last but not least, I got the H99. Like I said, um, I've never had a Liga Provada. I got nothing against Drew Estate. Just never had them. Never tried them. Uh, that's not, sorry. I've never had any like the normal ones. The regular line. I've only had the 10th anniversary that Michael sent me, which I love. Um, I think I smoked that this year. I smoked a lot of good cigars this year. All right, I'm gonna go grab DC and we'll finish off this video. I'm gonna say it another 15 more times. Thank you, Peter. It is crazy generous. Um, I'll continue to do what I do and continue to make content, continue to spotlight people so they can grow their channels, continue to do everything I can to put out as much good that gets sent to me and pass it on to the next person. Crazy. You ready? Yeah. Cool. This thing is completely falling apart hey. on me. Look at this. What? You, you going to pull too? At this point, it's pretty hot, yeah? Yes, yes, yeah! Okay. Okay. I'm back. DC's back. Back again. And we are going to... Oh, I won. Huh? I was playing Mario Kart. I oh, you did? Cool. I beat... I, I beat it, um, EG. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got God. foundation cigars here. Um, I like foundation. We got the tabernacle. You gonna hop in and, and be Vanna White and hold up a cigar, or are you just gonna look dead? Oh. We got a tabernacle. Come on, you take the good seat and everything. We got a tabernacle. I believe it's just the regular tabernacle. When I was going to CI in Fort Worth all the time, uh, back when I shopped there, which I don't anymore, there was a dude. Every time I went in, or anyone went in, and they kind of were like looking at cigars, he's like, would you like me to take you to the best cigar ever created? And then he would take him to the foundation. Every time. I've never smoked a regular foundation. I've only smoked the Goliath. And here's the David. 
There's a David. I don't remember what the difference is. I think just size. Can you help, dude? That or give me back my chair. One done. All right, one done. Next we got. One two. The wise one, man. Two, three four. Open the door. Five six. Pick up the sticks. Seven eight. High six, clear eight, castle. Eight, the Victoria. Nine, ten. Do it all again. We got a Milik. Awesome. I think this is a bigger size than the one I got. I got the one that came out a couple years ago. Take a I still need to smoke. On top. Oh, there's two different wise men. Hold on. The first one was the wise man. Hey, I'm Red Team on Mario Kart. Uh, he's blowing up his mind. I'm an assuming it's just natural Maduro. Is that right or wrong? But I got one of each. And then last but certainly not least in the foundation box, we got some gargantuan. Did you go through all of these? Yes, that's what took so long. All max. Hold up both. No, hold up, like one on each hand. Come on, stand up. Come on. You're not in focus. Get in focus. Three, two, one, camera. All right, we got two live stream cigars because like hell am I smoking them in the garage, you crazy man. Uh, I've done the Maduro. I have the Claro in Gordo, which I haven't smoked yet because I want to smoke it on a live, but then I also want to review it. So now I don't have to choose. Where'd you get this chair from? That was Paul's chair. Paul? Paul. Paul? Yeah, just like I have Paul's. Is there a, yeah, is there, is there a writing on here? I don't, I don't Paul think Gold. he wrote his name Paul on. Paul Lord? It's not Paul Lord, but you're uh, good. Lord Paul? Lord Paul, sure. Lord Paul. No, his name is not carved with the chair. My, uh, this is my wife's grandpa's chair. Um, all of my great, great, all of my, uh... Just great. Yeah, all of my greats died when I was born. I only have one great, and he's like 88. He's 89, he just turned 89. 89. It's cheeky. Um, and he's cheeky. Sit up a little bit, because we're not in focus. Ah, big knife! You're fine. It's in, a, it's in a sheath. Every, a lot of stuff that I use on the channel is Paul's. This is chair. Um, this is knife. This is knife? Yeah. Mommy, Paul gave you it. Yeah, Paul gave me his knife. It was dirty and I cleaned it up and got it sharp. Wait, if yeah. we can't say our names, why are we saying Paul's name? Because Paul ain't alive, dude. Focus box is right here and I was being a good father and allowing my dog. Uh, daughter to have the nice seat while I sat off to the side, mainly because I didn't want to move the entire fucking chair and put two seats there. Anyway, um, really? You can't... Hello? Uh, we'll do the... I'll, I will stick to the bit. It's a sock puppet. Did you know there was an episode of The Man... I remember The Man Show. You know what's crazy? That that man went on to late night television host and was like, became super left winging and bullshit and like everyone's rights. But he also had a show where women bounced on a trampoline as how they ended every segment. And they had a scene with some socks, with some socks. Google it. Or don't if you're underage. But you shouldn't be watching this anyways. Have you seen the movie Hort, what's it, Horton? Horton. Horton. Horton, here's a who. It's supposed to be a drawing of Horton. And then you can't see, but could you zoom on this again? Yeah. But there's like a top on the side. There's a little speck on the flat, on like a dandelion thingy. Uh -huh. The pink blob thing. And then that's it. Take it away. <laughs> thanks for watching the video. Subscribe below. And thanks for watching DJ. Thanks for watching PJ and all that YouTuber stuff. And subscribe. <laughs> Peace. And I have a joke. Thanks, Pete. No. Tell your joke, and then we're done. Thanks again, Pete. Knock, Appreciate you a lot, man. This is, this is crazy generous. Knock, knock. Who's there? I got cut to grass. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, ready? Knock, knock. Who's there? And drop the towel. You did this one last time. Oh. Moo. Hey. Thanks, dude.